Deirdre, the launch of Marcino Miller's campaign, arguably one of Ireland's most busiest and dynamic politicians? I think definitely, yes. Marcino Miller's um, election launch tonight for MP in South Belfast is an exciting time, not only for the party, but also the citizens in the south of the city. I think marching in his year as the mayor of Belfast demonstrated a new and vibrant vision for how he wanted to take the city forward, how to reconcile our communities within Belfast, and how to really push above our weight in the international arena. And if marching can bring that to the role of MP, then South Belfast will definitely be going places. Martin McGuinness, an incredible atmosphere tonight here for Martin and Muller. Well, a, a wonderful turnout for a remarkable politician. The best Lord Mayor Belfast ever had. Will make an extraordinary MP for South Belfast, an extraordinary representative for the island of Ireland, and quite obviously a very inclusive turnout here tonight. A huge attendance that means that he has struck a chord with the people of Belfast and particularly the people of South Belfast. So I think his campaign is off to a great start. This is about providing a better future for all of the people that we represent. It's about being broad-minded. It's about being inclusive. It's about recognising that delivering an economy is very important, getting people back to work, particularly young people. Also recognising that the delivery of services is of huge importance to everybody, particularly against the backdrop of what has been a very ruthless Conservative-led government in London, uh, determined to gut our block grant, as they have done over the course of the last four years. And quite clearly, if they get elected, there are further difficulties and challenges ahead, particularly, for example, if they put a referendum on whether or not uh, we should be entered out of Europe. We feel that we need to be in Europe, and any prospect that there would be a vote to take us out of Europe would be very damaging indeed, not just for the north of Ireland, but indeed for the whole island of Ireland. So we need politicians with new politics, progressive politicians like Marcin and Muller, inclusive politicians like Marcin and Muller, standing up with the rest of us and fighting back against that agenda. Quite clearly, support for Sinn Féin is building all over the island of Ireland. And of course, our ambition, uh, unlike Alison MacDonald, who it appears his ambition is to be part of a coalition British government, our ambition is to be part of an Irish government, north and south, on this island, leading ultimately through peaceful and democratic means to Irish reunification. Mary Lou, if, if you could actually put that on the grid, you would probably make a fortune. And tonight was electric, wasn't it? Absolutely, and I, I think it just uh, typifies more Gina Willier. Um, just that energy, that determination, always seeing the potential in things. That's the kind of person that Marcin is. And if you were to choose somebody who was prepared to take a risk, to take a chance, and to push out the boundaries of what's possible, you choose Marcin. Um, I, I think his record speaks for itself as mayor. But even prior to that, all of the things that he's been involved in, even in, in terms of his own professional and, and business life uh, tell you the kind of person that he is. A really, really interesting crowd of people here this evening. Very mixed, very diverse, very reflective of South Belfast. So I have every confidence in our candidate and judging by tonight they are going to run one hell of a campaign in this constituency and I, I think for not just South Belfast but maybe for all of Belfast, electing more chain as a, a member of parliament would be such a positive thing because he doesn't take no for an answer he, he doesn't accept failure he doesn't accept second best either he pushes for excellence and he will be an excellent representative again for this constituency. We're here because we have huge confidence in marching. We're here also because we have huge confidence in Sinn Féin and in our politics. And we're on a, I suppose, a cycle of elections now. We start off with the Westminster elections uh, in May. Uh, we'll also be fighting a by-election in the South, a marriage equality referendum also. And then we'll be into assembly elections, we'll be into doll elections. And this is a, a rolling project of constantly rejuvenating, renewing, building and growing. 
and for a purpose, for the purpose of building a new society. That's the scale of our ambition. So Martin and I are here uh, as on behalf of the leadership with Marching, with the with the people of South Belfast, with the team here, because we believe they can win and because we know that it is so important that they win uh, and that goes for across the country so we've been delighted to be here and it's been a really really uplifting positive evening Martin Fiskafter or Doi and Sean Ocht Well if you have a bar and you have a bar you have a bar and 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 you have well, Dini at Chatama has gone to the Ravel, Tanashan tradition, or the Shan walk on a Pulachata, Tasigamak, Augusta, Dini and Ishara, Boyle and Pulachat Durak, I love us good legend shit, good Jay Glumson and Pulachat Dur and Tus Nush and a Cora Files even. Well, I think that the presence of the Chief Executive of Optimism for the Assembly and the Executive Martin McGuinness, the Chief Scourge of Austerity in the Coalition, Mary Lee MacDonald, here, I think it shows that South Belfast is in play that Sinn Féin is very serious about this, that we will fight for every vote across South Belfast, that the old blocks are gone, that the old expectations are, are, are belief that people will automatically vote one way or the other. That's all gone. Every vote's in play, and my job is to convince the people of South Belfast by selling out my stall, as I did tonight, in job creation, uh, on education, on peace and reconciliation, on embracing our ethnic communities. My job is to convince them that I can deliver for South Belfast and that I have the record which shows that I will be the best uh, possible MP for South Belfast. Well, it's a tremendous constituency. You know, it's the most diverse constituency in Belfast. Uh, it is the area which has always led across community and peace and reconciliation activity. It is the area with the most of the arts community, more, more gay people in South Belfast than anywhere else. Uh, really a real very diverse part of the city where people have always believed in the fact that we live in each other's shelter. Uh, and I think that uh, I have taken my lead from the people. I was in Fitzroy Presbyterian Church last night and of course in 1981, that black year, Fitzroy started with Clonard Monastery, the Fitzroy Clonard Fellowship from which perhaps the entire peace process flowed. Uh, and I've spent a lot of time with the faith community. I'm not a person of faith, but I have great respect for the faith communities and the, and the work they do, the life-changing work they do. I have great respect for the teachers and all different types of schools, from the Irish medium through inter integrated to the big grammars and the work they are doing to change lives through education. Uh, and I've said, you know, my politics are the politics of addition and multiplication, not division and subtraction. There's been enough of that in this city. So we're going to build in the time ahead. Let's, let's build a new Belfast and I'm asking people to vote new Belfast. Of course, tonight was also the real launch of the campaign and your invite to Alistair MacDonald to join you. Do you want to elaborate on that? Well, I think all, serve, all observers would agree that there's a vacuum of leadership in South Belfast and I'm putting myself forward to fill that vacuum and I'm inviting the sitting MP, the leader of the SDLP, Alistair MacDonald, to come forward in a public forum and debate with me. Let's debate our competing agendas his vision for South Belfast against my vision for South Belfast uh, and also let's debate our records, what we have achieved, what we have stood for, what we have fought for in the city of Belfast. Uh, let's do that in front of uh, an invited audience of people from right across South Belfast to let the people decide who best will represent South Belfast in the time ahead.